please give it up for Jan. surgery, uh, remove tumor. Oh. Before the surgery, uh, my surgeon told me I have a small chance of drop my ankle. Dropping my dropping the ankle means uh, stop functioning uh, the ankle, your ankle and um, you would be walking like this. <laughs> and a small chance of being paralyzed, uh, hip bottom, as well as a small chance of disable the ejaculation. <laughs> He said this will happen less than 5% of chance. 5%. I really appreciate uh, New Zealand Medical and I'm, I'm very happy to be standing on the stage tonight at the panel. But the disabled ejaculation. <laughs> Sounds like I'm losing a big joy of my life. And I have no children, so I decided to keep my sperm before the surgery at a sperm bank. I'm going to tell you what happened at the sperm bank. Have you anybody, have anybody done, done it before? <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> I visited a spam bank just before the surgery and I saw a clinician and she explained it to me everything I need to know and everything I need to do at the facility. And she said she wants my semen twice on different days. I mean, they need my semen twice on different days. So I jerked off at the day and in three days later. Mm. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> the clinician was uh, such a beautiful young lady. <laughs> Believe me, she was like a model. She explained it to me about the whole process of the system, and then she took me to a sampling room, <laughs> which is a pretty clean and tidy room, and has a couch and a bathroom. And she said, there are some magazines in the drawer, only if you require it. <laughs> as soon as she left, I immediately opened the drawer and what the menu they have. <laughs> there are several porn magazines available. This is for gay people. 
after sampled my sperm, I brought it to the laboratory room. And then the beautiful clinician came to me and she took me to the clinician's room. And she's, she has started to explain it to me about how my sperm is. Mmm, sounds sexy. <laughs> wow, it's a new type of AMSR. <laughs> I feel so good. Actually, when she started explaining, I listened to her with my 100% focus. <laughs> and she said, Yeah, this is an awkward moment. <laughs> I ejaculated in my head second time a day <laughs> three days later I visited the sperm bank again for the second time I was wishing to see the beautiful Christian again, but it was a middle-aged woman, and she brought me to the sampling room, and she said to me, Take your time! <laughs> <laughs> All the single ladies here in Paisley stage tonight my sperm is healthy as hell <laughs> and very active. <laughs> and I ejaculate like a fountain. 